Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my first witchy unboxing. And I just wanted to show you this book I just got as well. So let's get started. Hey guys, so I just want to let you know that first of all, I am actually not doing a voiceover today. Um, this is live, well, you know what I mean, um, real time, because I got my cute little fuzzy uh, mic here, so uh, you may hear some background noise. Uh, usually I've been doing voiceovers because... It's just easier. My mom is here, and it's a lot of background noise, and the voiceovers kind of help me from, you know, sometimes I can't um, record because there's too much noise in the background. But anyway, today, I just want to give you my, like, kind of real-time um, feelings about this box. I love this box. I've had it now for five months, so this is my fifth box. And honestly, this is, I think, out of all the witchy subscription boxes, um, this is my, uh, this is the most affordable, and it's, I've never been disappointed. All right? So, I'm going to put my little mic down. I hope you can hear me. And this mic is not as good as the other one, but I just got this delivered today. Forest Paths. So, it tells you all about, uh, different trees, it's really, really awesome, like divin divination. It's called Forest Pass, a Manual of Modern uh, Tree Divination by Brian, Brian Harrison. So I don't know, I'll let you know how I like the book. It's a beautiful book, Forest Paths. Oh, I forgot about this. I saw someone else review this. It gives you little cards in the back of all the different trees. So that's really, really cool. All right, so, and like I said in um, my other video, I think it's coming out of the broom closet, um, I want to do, like, an art project, and it's definitely going to be in, like, another, um, video, okay, um, because this is going to take too long, like, to do an unboxing, and then also at the same time, do like in the same video uh do an art project so i think what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna sit down is do like an unboxing and then in another video do an art project and it'll be like tamed wild box part two and then it'll be like the name of my art project all right so hopefully that sounds good so let's open this guy up Hey guys, I am back. I had to get my scissors and I wanted to heat up my coffee. So go grab a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a cup of hot cocoa. I had to grab this and one, uh, one other thing. So this is the Tame Wild box. So I just start opening it a little bit because it's kind of rough to open. And I, they always come in these really nice boxes all the way around and I actually reuse these boxes so here it always comes with some information and let's see what this says okay calling in and connecting with the energy of the new year so I think this tells you what's in it so I don't want to look at that and then this is a little ritual they give you so I'm gonna maybe read a little bit at the end and that's it so let's start opening the box all right so first thing you get this nice little pouch and it's like cotton or like canvas kind of and it says tame wild on it and the ooh all right so let's get the scissors yeah, so I'm really excited. Oof, see? Background noise. Yeah, I, if you didn't know, I live in New York, and I live in between a fire station on one, on one avenue and an ambulance, uh, a hospital 
with a very active uh, emergency room on an another avenue. So I'm like literally in between. But anyway, so you could hear a lot of background noise. The first item, what does this say? The Empress, I think, is, let's see if you could see this, this beautiful, like gold or gold, well, I'm sure it's gold plated charm with a necklace. So that's really beautiful. I really love that. I've gotten charms from them before. So that's really beautiful. So let's put that here. All right. And so this is clear quartz. All right. So let's see. Obviously it's a clear quartz. <laughs> okay. Nice. So get another one, and then these are reusable. I love you. I love these. So you have two clear quartzes. I have plenty of clear quartz, but this is really nice. Alrighty. Let's put those right there. Okay. <clears throat> ah. So you got herbs. Yeah, this is like an herb, a very herbal box. Um, and actually I have something on my table because I use it all the time. What I love about Tame Wild is that they give you stuff you can actually use. So I got this, I think in the, I think it was the November box and I still have it. So this is a salve for like cuts and stuff like that. Uh, I think it was November because this came out like around Thanksgiving, like, um, Calendula. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. That's like a salve. So they always give you stuff you can actually use, and it's a very herbal uh, box, like teas and stuff, and I actually love boxes like that um, because that's the type of, you know, that's the type of witchcraft I practice is like green and kitchen and hearth. So, um, yeah, I really love that. So we have... You could see that some mugwort, and I love these um, little containers. You have some rose petals, and you have some lemon peel. You could see that. All right. Now, usually, this is new. These um, containers. Because usually it comes in these. This is what I wanted to show you. It has like a self, like a, you know, you could reseal it. And I really like that. I love these little pouches. Um, that's how they usually, these are teas. All right, so we got some herbs. And let's see what else we got. Ah, we have a black candle. So black candles, um... You know, they're usually used for protection, protection spells, uh, stuff like that. So these are, so black, I know like a lot of my subscribers, this is like new content for me. Um, Black candles are not inherently negative. They are actually, to me, um, quite the opposite, you know. So, and I think that is it. All right, so let's move that to the side. Last item, ooh, nice, a nice um, packaging. If we could, we could read that. Um, rebirth anointing, anointing oil. Nice big bottle. So let's see if I can open it with ease, and I can. Oh, it has a dropper, which, let me smell it. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. All right, so that is what we got. I cannot read what is in it, but probably in the paperwork, um, it will say. So we got a black candle. We got our herbs. I love that. I love herbs. And we have our beautiful necklace and we got some 
rose uh, rose quartz, uh, regular quartz. Alrighty, clear quartz. So, <clears throat> hopefully, and the ritual is here, so you could do that if you choose to. All right, so I'm going to read this really, really quickly if I can see it. Oh, boy. Rose, oh, okay, it's talking about rose, the um, herbs. All right, so it's telling you about each um, item. So rose has been honored in herbalism and magic through centuries, according to folklore. The poetess Sappho called Rose the queen of the flowers, and it has been said to be a favorite of Cleopatra. Traditionally, Rose has been used in herbal and folk medicines to soothe the stomach, also as a source of vitamin C. They are also known as a support for headaches or to tend to a frayed nervous system. Rose is closely associated with the goddess Aphrodite. Uh, Aphrodite worked with roses in spells and rituals of self-love and romance. And that's the rose. Okay. And they talk about the mugwort. More, mugwort was given its name because in Europe, the herb was originally used to flavor beer prior to hops. Historically, mugwort is used as an overall tonic because of its bitterness. It's been a part of the long history of culinary traditions and also as incense and ceremony. Mugwort is considered a, divin a divinatory herb and has long been used in lucid dreaming rituals or to enhance psych psychic ability. And the lemon peel um, lemon peel is known for its solar energy. Work with lemon peel to invigorate your creativity as a blessing on relationships in a ritual bath or ritual floor uh, bath if you don't have a tub for clearing and it's and to cast away cloudy days. In traditional herbalism, it's known for its uplifting properties and can be used to stimulate an appetite or as a flavor enhancement and this is the high priestess so this guy right here all right the high priestess is a card that connects to the divine feminine and not just parts of the divine that we can see but rather the deeper darker sides of this archetype the high priestess is a mysterious and uh, is mysterious and appears to remind us to listen to our own intuition. She reminds us that sometimes we must withdraw to enrich our inner lives and to embrace our shadows, our shadows, no matter what society has told us about them. All right. And then they're talking about the black candle. So, black candles are known for their magic, yeah, magic protection. Uh, ending a phase of your life or honoring the crone, which is the latter. So you have the triple goddess, which is the maiden, the mother, and the crone. And the crone is not, again, it's not negative. People think of like an old woman or like ugly old woman. That's, it's just a wise person, a male or female. It's the energy of the crone. Um, burr, burr, burr. Banishing negativity or unwanted energy and connecting to your inner strength. Now, whoops. Uh, let's see. The oil. Right here. Okay. The rebirth anointing oil. I love that. And it smells really delicious. Um, but, but, but an anointing oil is an oil blend that helps to connect the human body with the divine with roots in different religious systems across the globe. Anointing oils have been used since ancient times, depending on your belief systems. These oils can carry different meaning, different meaning through all of these practices have different context, history and story. They're all they are all 
they all carry, sorry, it's really hard to see, a common thread. Anointing oils can be used as a part of a ritual process. Anointing oils can remind can remind of our own divinity, holiness, and connection to the cosmos. And then the last thing I'm going to read are these clear quartz. Um, we don't believe that anything really okay sorry we don't believe anything in the universe is random this stone has made its way to you with a message keep it in your pocket or nearby and listen to what it may tell you stone magic can help you connect to your own intuition and inner nor knowing so that is the tame wild box so i really love it i have like i said i've never and this is and again this is the it also comes with a ritual uh, some of these boxes have come with little books um, like little mini books with information in them i really love um this box i love it and it's like 20 dollars plus shipping so it comes out to 28 dollars and also letting you know really quick um like i said i did uh sign up for other subscriptions i actually another three of them but i may not keep one of them for sure that i one of them I'm just going to try. Um, that one's called Wolf in Time. I'm not too sure about it. I may just try it and then like kind of cancel uh, the subscription. And I do have another two boxes that are just like one-offs. Um, and I'm going to save that as a surprise. One is just like a welcome box. And I did not get a subscription. And the other one is specifically for in bulk. And it's like supposed to be a huge box. And I saw it um, unboxed in uh, someone else's video. So guys, that is it for today. And there is the ambulance. I told you. <laughs> I told you it's going to be noisy. I am right in between. I am literally on the street. Sorry, guys. Close your ears. This is why I do voiceovers. Anyway, that's New York for you. There's nothing I could do about it. But anyway, that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of my Tame Wild. Like I said, the next thing, like one of my next videos after this will be um, an art project. And I already have ideas. I'm going to do like an herby project. I actually was thinking about it uh, the other night. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do like a, you know, an art project and I'm going to figure it out. I already have an idea. I'm really excited about it. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoy today's video. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. It really, really helps my channel when you do that. And if you're new here, this is something very, very new I'm doing. Um, and yeah, look at my new trailer. Uh, I just put out a new trailer as well for my channel. And here are those ambulances again. Wow, I can't even do my outro. There's a lot going on today. But <laughs> sorry, guys. I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.